An English poem from class 6 NCERT The Kite speaks about the beauty of flying kite how people enjoy it and lot more we'll see in this video hello everyone you are watching the tutor if you haven't subscribed the channel yet make sure to subscribe it now let's move on to the poem the kite all of us like to fly kites have you ever tried to fly one read this poem about a kite as it flies in the sky okay see when you see number of kites in the sky how do you feel don't you wish to fly it do you like watching colorful kites in the sky in india we see kites flying everywhere in the month of january that is during the festival of makar sankranti The poet Haran Ben beautiful uh, beautifully describes the beauty of kite in this poem. Now let's read the poem. How bright on the blue is a kite when it's new with a dive and dip it snaps its tail then soars like a ship with only a sail as over tides of wind it rides climbs to the crest of a gust and pulls then seems to rest as wind falls when string goes slack you wind it back and run until a new breeze blows and its wings fill and up it goes how bright on the blue is a kite when it's new but a raggeder thing you never will see when it flaps on a string in the top of a tree written by harry ben Okay let's see the hard words first here bright bright means shine okay shine then dive what is the meaning of dive dive means to jump to jump with force to jump with force with your head first on the ground on the ground means when you are jumping your head will be down and your leg will be up that is the position when you dive into the water okay your head goes down and your leg comes up so that is dive dip what is the meaning of dip dip means to slip into the water slip into the water when you dip in water you come back very fast you don't stay in water you just dip it okay so it is slip into the water and what is snap snap means a cracking sound snap means cracking sound and soar soar means a moving upward it means moving upward then tides tides means ups and downs ups and downs okay then ride ride means to ride when you sit on something on vehicle or on an animal you you have control on it so that is ride climbs means to move upward again to move up and up not down climb means to when you climb your stairs that means you are climbing up to move up crest crest means top that is peak then gust gust means uh, it is a strong wind okay strong wind the sound of strong wind when wind blow very fast and very uh, heavily it is known as gust it is gustling during rainy seasons we can see gustling okay then we have string string means thread slack slack means loose okay slack means loose breeze means um, it means air okay air gentle air then we have raggeder raggeder means uh, dirty or untidy untidy flaps means to stuck okay to stuck actually birds they flap their wings means they move their wings up and down so here it is used for kite so it is used 
as uh, they get stuck on tree that way we know that when we will see the poem we will come to know okay how bright on the blue is a kite when it's new with a dive and dip it snaps its tail then soars like a ship with only a sail okay so what the poet here is saying he is encouraging the people to experience the pleasure of flying kite he says when the new kite goes up in the sky it looks so attractive the flying kite look like dipping and diving in the sky also the tail of kite makes sharp sound crackling sound when it flies in the direction of the wind the flying kite is also compared to the waves in the sea we know that the waves in the sea or ocean moves up and down as per the force of wind the same way is the kite it moves up very high and comes down as per the wind sometimes kite rest in the sky with no movement just because there is no direction of the wind it looks very bad when the thread of the kite stucks in the tree when uh, when it stucks in the tree which tears the kite okay so this is the uh, journey of the kite you can say when you fly it it looks very beautiful on the dark blue sky the kite looks very beautiful then uh, the the movements of kite is mentioned and it is compared to a uh, ship and the soaring okay it climbs then it dips and dives so uh, many things are compared here with the kite and finally what happens lastly it goes and stuck uh, into the tree and it tears so the end is very bad of this kite i hope you have understood the meaning of it okay it's nothing but about the life of a kite how it is then uh, what all things happen then finally it get teared now let's see the some of the objectives are given here we'll see that list out the action words in the poem like di uh, dive dip snaps then we have soar soars then climbs climbs then rides r i d e s then we have pulls p u l l s then falls f a l l s so these are the action words used in the poem find out the meaning of these words now you have to write the meaning of these words i have already mentioned while explaining so let me tell orally dive dive means to jump into the water or in any place when you are jumping your head comes first okay your head uh, is in the downward position and dip dip means uh, to slip into something and again come back of that place snap means cracking sound soars means moving upward moving in upward direction climbs mean climbs also means to climb okay to go upwards rides means when you sit on vehicle or any animal you have control on that thing you ride a horse you ride a bike okay so when you sit on those vehicle uh, you have control over it pulls pulls means when you uh, when you pull something towards yourself when you put pressure and bring that thing towards you it is opposite of push then falls means to fall okay uh falling from a greater height or a lower height but fall means to to fall towards the ground so these are the meaning of these words now read these lines from the poem then soars like a ship with only a sail the movement of the tail kite is compared to a ship with sail this is called simile can you suggest what or who the following actions may be compared to see now what is simile actually it is a grammar part it is taken from the figure of speech okay figure of speech we have many figure of speech but here simile is mentioned in this poem when you compare something and you use uh, like see here when you are comparing and you are using the word like 
like he runs like something he eats like something she sings like something so why this word like is used because you are comparing to something so when these type of comparisons are made by using the word like it is simile you can write any example here he runs like a horse he eats like a pig she sings like a singer it shines like a star or you can even write a uh, sun okay it shine uh, it shines like sun it flies like uh, a kite or bird also you can write like a bird so you are comparing it so these are the examples of simile now try to make a kite with your friends collect the things required such as color paper or newspaper thread glue a thin stick that can be bent after making the kite see if you can fly it so what you have to do you have to collect the things like uh, colorful paper uh, then thread then gum glue and a thin stick so these are the things which are required to make a kite you have to make a kite of your own then you have to uh, fly it and see whether it is flying or not so how a kite will be uh, this is the uh, structure of a kite okay so this is a tail of kite so you have to make your own kite and fly it in the sky that's all for today's video i hope you have understood it it's a very short poem and it's about the life of kite and few exercise was given objectives that also i have done here i hope it was helpful if you want more such explanation and notes then do hit the like button share and subscribe it